2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Well, we can finally say it. The NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happier. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. The guard pair are Murray and Caldwell Pope. The small and power forwards are Porter and Gordon. And it's Jokic in at the center position. And for Boston, Tatum in the front court alongside Horford. The guard pair, it's White and Brown. And it's Brzingis in at the pivot spot manning the middle. And game one of the NBA season break is here. Does everyone get butterflies or is it just me? here with you, partner. It, the anticipation has been brewing for months. Nothing like over the night. The offensive rebound and the jump by Horford. Oh, now Horford getting after it, putting that put back back in the bucket. Here's Murray up on top. White covering. And it's sent back by White. And the officials now calling the shooting foul. He got the ball on the block, but also got the body. So, so some free throws coming up right now. The Nuggets shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. the wisdom of the smart Porzingis trade. Uh, what'd you think of the move? I mean, I think given age and injuries in their front court, it, the trade makes sense, right? Also, they got some draft capital, but the ultimate test of this trade will be in the playoffs. The ring is the thing. And so he hits both. Clark, and you mentioned this, what you like about Jamal Murray more and more is he's always creating for others. You know, look, sometimes it's a function of who you play with as to how you perceive. I don't think he's ever been selfish, but he wasn't always surrounded by excellence and more. So this guy just wants to win, and he'll do whatever it takes to do so. Murray outside. Aldwell Pope feeling it out of it. Six to shoot. Tatum pulls it down. For Boston, they've gone two or three here to start off the game. Brown inside. Porter's there. Brown, no good. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now here's Murray. From the arc. And it's sent back by White. White doing an excellent job coming up with the block there. Kick out to Brown. Doesn't go for it. Good defense by Jokic. For Denver, they've gone 0-3 from the field to start the game. Murray outside. Back to Jokic. First shot, first basket. He's on the blocks fast. Jokic being a problem for the defense. Strong even against physical contact. Tatum against Porter. And the basket by Tatum. Now Horford impeding the defense there with the solid screen. For three, Murray. It's hauled in by Brock. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference. And you know, he's a guy who knows how to defend the three-point shot. He's not going to just give it to you. He's going to make you earn it. Explosive in tight quarters. Jamie imposing his will out there. This is his first chance at the line tonight. And taking a look back at last year's numbers, he's about a 76% shooter. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
no good on the free throw. And Greg, the massive contract extension for Jalen Brown this past summer, for a time, the richest in NBA history. Hey, you gotta pay to play, or, or in this case, to contend for titles. With Tatum and Brown, the Celtics have that opportunity. And a whole new lineup here for the Nuggets. No good on the second free throw. And last season saw the retirement of former Nugget great and future Hall of Famer Carmelo Anthony Clark. He was one for the ages. And you can't overlook the impact he had, Stephen, and I agree with you. One for the ages as a rookie, helping them break an eight-year playoff drought. And he never missed the postseason in his seven-plus years in Denver. Now, here's Watson. The rebound by Malcolm Brogdon. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Brogdon with it. He's covered by Watson. Shotgun to him. The playmaking of Brown continuing to evolve. Nice dime there. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for Denver. It's a five-point game. Williams with the clock. to the paint. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Yeah, you know what? He's a skilled passer, so if you leave people open around Brogdon, he'll make you wish you didn't. Jackson dishes to Watson. Now here's Jackson. No scoring in this one. Can't hit the step back jump shot. Brown feeling out of it. Pass to Brogdon. Passes it to Pritchard. Fires top of the key. And it's Denver with the rebound. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Here's Jackson. And again, Denver no good. And so it's Boston heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They've been playing some inspired events, giving a very few easy points. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And what do you guys think about Boston here in this one? What we saw in that first quarter, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. The Nuggets trail by seven. Taking a look at the Nuggets. Underneath in the post, it's Gordon and Jokic. Sharing the wing spots, it's Caldwell Pope and Porter, and it's Murray in at the point guard position. And they're, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamorous stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. Yeah, and that field goal percentage zooming upwards is now above 50%, which is pretty strong. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. It's Brogdon on the wing. He kicks it to Horford. Nice ball movement by Boston. You know, Clark, I have to say, it seems like the college game has seen a little bit of a shift in recent years. You cover it, do you think? Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, the game, much like the pro game, has become a little more perimeter-centric. The three-point shot has been a huge part of the game's evolution. And so you see more teams playing to space the floor and take advantage of the three-point shot. Not nearly as much back-to-the-basket post-play. So I do think the game has changed necessarily Denver. good or bad. I think it's just different. And now I send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrich. First team. Well, Kevin, Jason Tatum said his quiet demeanor may belie his hunger to win for some people. He said, I feel like sometimes I come off so laid back that I don't know if people understand how much I invest into this game, how much I care, how hard I work, because I'm not the loudest or may show everything. Kevin? 
Take a break. You know, his Take passion, DA, for the Three game seven. is right there. We appreciate your story. The first one at the line is good. In the 2016 and 17 drafts, GA Boston ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back to back, setting up their franchise for years. Both good from the line that time. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, it's been a dry spell for sure. So good to see Murray, not just as a scorer, but driving as a passer, too. Outside Tatum. And the three off target. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. And, you know, he's a guy who knows how to defend the three-point shot. He's not going to just give it to you. He's going to make you earn it. Now, here's Brogdon after the miss from Contavious Caldwell Pope. Over Caldwell Pope. That's tipped. Caldwell Pope showing us excellent timing there, using his length well on defense. Contavious Caldwell Pope. For the Celtics, they come into this one following a loss to the Hornets and Charlotte. Outside Tatum. The shot off that time. Gordon with the defensive effort. The pass to Caldwell Pope. Now Jokic over Porzingis. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. Two minutes remaining. Here's Tatum. Boston, no good that time either. The Nuggets trailed by six. Murray left side. And that one's clearly a foul. Gets the whistle. Two shots coming up. That one on White. And Greg finished your last season with the number one seed in the Western Conference. A lot of people still slept on the Denver Nuggets. And Kevin, they've had great regular seasons before, only to fall short. But with a healthy Murray and Porter Jr., Jokic finally had the help to get it done. He misses the free throw. And Greg, the way the Celtics have approached this season in terms of intensity, I think they clearly feel, though, they have unfinished business. They've been so close to a title for a number of years. They've even been title favorites at times. It's part of the maturation process, as excruciating as it may be. And he's good on the second. And, you know, you look at the evolution of Murray, and it's exciting to watch, quite honestly. He's a combo guard. He's got great range and scoring ability. But I like the way he's developing as a playmaker, too. And shot is good. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Now here's Murray. The turnaround. And he overshot that one, missing. Here's Pritchard. He's covered by Murray. Here's Williams. It's rebounded by Najee. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you can see the frustration on his face. Pass to Brown. Denver needs to get off the shot. Rocket two. The Nuggets with another miss. Celtics leading by eight. 34 seconds left in the second quarter. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Holiday. Outside, Horford. There's the triple. And again, Boston with the triple. Horford grabs the ball and immediately gets into a shot. You've got to prepare with your feet and then be ready with your hand. And here is Murray. Releases. 
with nobody on him. He parries the jumper. Murray's got five now. This is really smart basketball. This is Murray doing a really good job to set himself up to get free for a shot. And so it's Boston. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks a lot, guys. With Mike Malone, as the second half approaches, Coach, what are you looking for? Execution, pace and purpose with everything that we do, uh, and making sure that when we call a set, we know what we're trying to accomplish and get the ball to where our players can be effective. We'll see if they can fix that in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Back to you. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Out in front of the half is Boston. They lead by nine points. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? They've really established themselves to the glass. Being down there has been extra possessions, which they've cashed in on. Now they just got to, you know, bring the same energy to the same half. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Denver? Obviously, that was U-G-L-Y. It's ugly. Shooting under 30% from the field, disorganized. Chucking up bad shots. Man, I'll tell you, they have to adjust their play, and they got to get better looking. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. All See you again after the final. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Without question, Derek White displaying his skills today. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Greg, no secret, this Nuggets offense revolves around the two-time MVP, Nikola Jokic. And he's the driving force, no doubt. But, Kevin, they've done a good job surrounding him with the right kind of players. Guys that can defend, shoot, and play without the ball. The guard pair. It's White and Brown. Alfred and Porzingis are manning the post position. And it's Tatum in at the threesome. That's the Boston Five. Here's Brown. Brown's contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And, you know, really, guys, Brown is very talented knocking down shots, even when getting hit. That's his first. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Team foul. At the line for the Celtics, Jalen Brown. Free throw good from Brown. Look, you've got to give Brown a lot of credit for his growth as a shooter. That wasn't something he did when he first got to the league. He put in a lot of work. He shoots it well from the floor and line. Quarter outside. Jalen Brown with the rebound. And that's the battle. They haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, if they're looking to battle back, that's one of the key elements. you got to rebound. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. Now, some people play with a chip on their shoulder, feeling they don't get enough recognition. I can tell you that's not Nicole Nikola Jokic. Jokic. Nuggets coach Michael Malone said he's not going to bed at night wondering why no one's talking about him. He doesn't care. He's reading his books on horses. We're winning games, and he's happy. If he's happy, I'm happy. Kevin, I'm happy too. You, you've always been happy, DA. Hey, thanks. That was good stuff. Appreciate the report. Murray kicks to Caldwell Pope. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Caldwell Pope. Caldwell Pope's got five points so far. 
Very effective in spacing the floor. Contavious Caldwell Pope has gone from an average outside shooter to a dangerous one. Right the pass to Tatum. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Yeah, I'll tell you what, for him, this has been a game to forget. But somehow they still find themselves with the lead. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. Jalen. That's his first foul. Celtics making a switch here. Hawkins checked in. And a switcher also for Denver. Jackson's checked in. Misses. Right with the defensive effort. And out of bounds as the Nuggets gain possession. You know, you really have to respect workhorses like Reggie Jackson. He is something else. Yeah, I think he brings everything in his package that you want in a veteran guard. He's reliable on the court. He's a professional off of it. And he elevates your team's basketball IQ, too. He's a smart player. Celtics making a switch here. Williams is checked in. And a switcher also for Denver. Watson's checked in. Here's White following the score by Reggie Jackson. White the pass to Williams. And yes, it's good. And the Celtics lead by five. You know, whenever White sees an open teammate, he's getting the ball to him right away. No hesitation. Jokic finds Porter. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Pass to Watson. Shot clock at six. Goes up again. Good! Jokic can indeed take a little contact. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now Porter, after Jason Tatum, missed on that last three-pointer. You know, he looks a little off-kilter to me this quarter. Still trying to find his rhythm. you got to love his hustle. Leaving the defense in no time to react. And, you know, you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Williams with the block. The amazing thing about Williams, yeah, he, he can block shots inside, but he can also block shots out on the perimeter. His ability to play in space means he's more than just a rim protector. They don't care where you're shooting from. Now here's Jackson. Jason Tatum missing his last shot. Back to Porter, takes the three, hits the three-point box. Porter, Junior. Porter's got five Porter. points in the quarter. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Yeah, they've had a great second half from long range. I mean, things are definitely starting to look up for them. Now here's White. He's got eight. Pass to Persingas. Over Jackson. And Persingas gets it to go on the exit by Williams. And the Celtics lead by four. You know, Porzingis' ability to shoot the ball well from every level really opens up the floor for him and his teammates. He'll make that mid-range, Jay, as much as he makes threes. And good that time. And 12 Assisted points for Jokic. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to Christmas. Quarter, three quarters of play in a close game here. Celtics. Celtics lead by two. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And a chance now to hear what went on during that recent huddle. Stop and run. Stop and run. That's of urgency, man. Come on. We, we got to get this. Ryan just took the fire hey, under his team. Mike Malone here. asking his guys to seize the moment. And this is the time when the leaders on the court need to step up, take control, and make things happen. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. Taking a look at the Nuggets. Inside form, it'll be Porter and Jokic. The guard pair are Murray and Caldwell Pope. 
and it's Brown in at the small four. Now, here's Jokic. Murray outside. Kicks to Caldwell Pope. Good, and the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got four assists now tonight. Love the rise and fire approach from KCP. Gotta be impressed with this guy's confidence. Here's Brown. And Michael Porter is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Denver making a switch. John Charge checked in. In for the Nuggets. Blackbird, John Charge. Now the pass to Pritchard. Denver grabs the miss. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from his offense. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And you know, the defense gets their money's worth from that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the end once. In a moment, now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Celtics. Guys, the D hasn't had an answer for the three point shooting, which is why they continue to just fire away Take from break. deep. Take a break. And the thing I've seen that shots. I've really been impressed by is they've gotten everybody involved. Unselfishly making that extra pass, getting that ball to the right guy at the right time for the good shot. That one drops. He ties it up. So the Nuggets will try to defend their title. Greg, uh, what do you think of their chances? They're as deep as any team in the league. Headlined by the two-time MVP in his prime. But... This league is more wide open than it's been in recent memory. They will be challenged. Zeke Naji, he's checked in for Nikola Jokic. So one for two that time with the strike. You can tell that miss at the line might stick with him for a while. Always hurts to miss a chance to take the lead. For the finish, and it's Murray with the jam. Boy, Murray had his fingerprints all over that possession. It's huge when he makes these types of plays. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And with a fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their minds, and getting that strategy down to close out the game. Sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thanks, guys. Listened in on what Joe Missoula told his team. Now, with the game in the balance, he had some encouraging words for his team. He said, This is what we wanted. We thought if we kept it close, we could pull it out. Now, let's go out there and do just that. Back to you, guys. All right, thank you, David. And here is Murray following Jalen Brown's three. On pass to Gordon. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley oop. Here's Brown. Williams dishes to Brown. And it's good assisting in the play with Williams. Brown's got five points now in the quarter. And you like to see since the half now, he's finally starting to come around. To the middle. Here's Brown. A rebound by the Celtics. They've led by as many as 11 points. Richard. Pass to Hauser. for high post. Whoops, anticipated the pass. Turnover. And that one is stuck right through. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass-first team player as Caldwell Pope. Love seeing that. Richard passes to Brown. Shoots from 12. Does it get a drop for him? Oh, a great effort on defense there against a guy who typically makes that. Caldwell Pope kicks to Murray. Denver, he is just so clutch. Oh, so he is best for when the pressure is at its highest. Now a timeout called by Boston. They trail by two. We've got 148 left in the fourth quarter. Take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Jamal Murray. 
Well, I tell you what, DeRozan has been incredible with his attacking at the offensive end, and it's been all game long. Never hesitating to attack a gap in the defense, and then he found a lot of points by slicing his way right to the cup. Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. Derek White comes in for Pritchard. We've got 148 left here in the fourth quarter. Tatum, that's for two. The offensive rebound. For third drives. Boston again missing. And Murray's got the ball here for the Denver Nuggets. The lead is two. Here's Jokic. And that one is off. Excellent D there from Reed. Looking to get back on track here. Oh, Tatum is And Tatum has been in these situations before. He's reliable when it comes to stepping up in big moments. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. There's 117 left in the fourth. White against Murray. White with the defensive effort. And the activity he shows around the ring is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. Kept to one. And content on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws in glory. Yeah, he just plays with such tenacity on both ends. Second Williams is a rising talent who wants to prove he belongs. Robert Williams. First one drops, and that gives them the lead. And so he drops them both. It's a two-point ball game. And that was huge right there. Just as cool as he could be. And he's been clutch at the line there in a very tense moment. Inside, there's Jokic. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Caldwell Pump against Brown. Jokic, no good. And so they foul intentionally. Second person is on that's the first that makes it a three-point lead well Tatum does look ready prepared to do what he does best in the clutch get buckets Second one is good. He's both at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. And it makes this good work at the line there. Now we have a two-possession ball game. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're trailing by four. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Time of the game. 
Third on the first, and that puts them up by five. And so he goes two for two at the walk, and it's a six-point ball game. I think it's a wrap. When the game's on the line, he knows how to deliver the crushing blow. Murray kicks the call well told. They need this. Touchdown, the trifecta. This dude, folks, has ice in his veins when the game is tight. Boston. Tavius Caldwell Pope. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're ahead by three. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. Seconds left to play the final quarter. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. No choice if you the foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see up there. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. It didn't take long for White to distinguish himself in the league. He's a really good ball handler, and he's got some good moves, too. And so both free throws are good, and it's a five-point game. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Gordon for three. No good. So we see Boston get the win here. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from the late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. They on both ends, and just an effective in terms of coming away from this win. See us again soon. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. KP, you guys did a great job contesting shots and disrupting their offense. What did you like best about the defensive effort tonight? I think from the beginning of the game, we just started off uh, aggressive. We were connected defensively, and uh, that's how we were able to stop them. You got it done when it counted, Christoph. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alton. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports.